development of, of cancer as well. Now, history shapes our lives, and in a new country like Bangladesh, that's an obvious thing because you've gone through uh, dramatic changes in your society uh, over the last uh, 60 or so years. Uh, the U.S. is an older country, um, but nevertheless, in my own life, uh, there were important um, challenges that were created by political and, and indeed technological developments. In my own life, uh, when I was a college student, as some of you are here, uh, the Soviet Union um, sent a satellite into the air to circulate the Earth for the first time, and the, um, the appearance of that first satellite, called Sputnik, um, changed the way in which the U.S. viewed the development of science and technology. The science and technology were not just uh, tools for trying to understand nature. There were also political tools that influenced uh, a nation's reputation. Uh, and um, one of the ways to meet that challenge was to invest more into uh, science education and to uh, the support of science. Uh, indeed, just a few years earlier, uh, President Roosevelt had determined that because science had been so influential in the conduct of World War II, uh, with the mass production of penicillin to treat wounds, the development of radar, uh, the development of better anti-malarial drugs, uh, the development of the atomic bomb, that it was important that the government spend money to encourage scientists to do work at the institutions around the United States. Uh, creating a, a system of, of uh, government-supported science that uh, allowed the country to